FME 2012, Safe Software have introduced the FME Store. This is a place you can go to to access workspace templates, custom transformers, or custom formats that have been made available by members of the FME user community and Safe Software themselves. Some value added resellers have also made available some custom transformers, and One Spatial is one of those. First of all, to operate and work with the FME store, you need to get access to FME 2012. You can do this by going to onespatial.com forward slash FME. You'll see on the overview tab of our dedicated FME pages the ability to download FME 2012. Go ahead and do this. Once you've installed FME 2012, you'll be able to access the FME store through FME 2012. There's a number of places where you can access the FME Store. One of those is through the initial Getting Started area on your Introductory Start tab in FME. You'll see you have the ability to create a workspace, and here is the FME Store available to you. What you can see is that typically you have to refresh your connection to the FME Store, and this will refresh the contents within it. Here are a series of templates that are available to help you get started with certain capabilities in FME. In some cases there will be the requirement to pay for a, an item from the FME store. In that case you need to get in touch with the organisation that's provided the solution. But lots of capabilities inside the FME store are available for free. Another primary location where you can get access to the FME store is through the Transformer Gallery. Here we can see the Transformer Gallery is available, as is the FME Store. And there's a series of folders inside which Transformers exist. What we're going to focus on for this session is the UK Postcode Validator released by us at One Spatial. First steps then. You can see that the UK Postcode Validator is free to download. However, a license is required, and to get the license you need to email us. So the first step then is to get access to the UK Postcode Validator. If you just type UK on the canvas and press return, FME contacts the FME store and downloads the UK Postcode Validator directly to your machine. It comes down in the form of an FMX file and it's stored locally on your machine. And now you have access to the transformer to carry out postcode validation. You'll see that if you try to use the postcode validator without getting a license first, it won't work. What we'll do here is add an attribute called postcode and put a constant in. Just a random postcode to begin with. Dive into the UK postcode validator set the attribute that contains the postcode we want to validate and we'll connect some loggers to check to see if anything comes out of the right hand side of the transformer. If we run this translation you'll see that the postcode feature enters the validator but nothing comes out. We need to go and check the log to see what's happened here and you'll see that there's a warning and the warning says that the UK Postcode Validator is not available to use without emailing fme at onespatial.com to get a free license. So, what you need to do is go to Help and About, go to More Info, check what your registration key is, copy it and paste it into an email, and then email us at fme at onespatial.com. We'll then send you back a license to use the UK Postcode Validator. The UK Postcode Validator license file will look like this UK Postcode Validator dot 3RD LIC. Take that file and go and put it into your FME licenses directory. So take a look at where your FME desktop is installed. Mine here is installed on the C drive in a folder called FME, FME Desktop 2012, and then 
find the licenses directory. You'll see it's here. Just paste the license file into that folder. Now when you go back to FME and run the same workspace, you'll see that a feature exits the UK postcode validator and we can see it's come out of the valid port to indicate that we have a valid postcode. You know that the UK postcode validator is correctly licensed when features exit either one of the ports. If you get no features out of either end on the right hand side of the transformer, you'll know that you haven't correctly licensed the transformer. We can see that if we have a look in the log, this postcode is valid. You can see the result is valid. You can see that we have a field that contains the original postcode that was in lowercase and we have a validated postcode that is in the correct case. If we change this postcode to have no space in the middle and run it again, you'll see that the postcode gets validated. It's still valid and into the validated postcode attribute we have an attribute that contains the space in the correct place. We can continue to change this in any way we like and it will still come out of the transformer valid and correctly formatted. Formatting is one thing that the UK postcode validator does well. The other thing that it will do is identify whether there is a problem with your postcode. For example, if I put a dollar symbol instead of the four, you can see that the postcode is no longer valid. And the problem that has been identified is that the transformer has encountered a non-alphanumeric value in the postcode string. So it gives you an indication of what the problem might be. There are nine different types of problem that the postcode validator transformer searches for. A common one is an O instead of a zero. If we run this again, you can see here that it has encountered an issue with the final part of the postcode string, the inward part. So the validator will always give you an indication of why a postcode has potentially failed its tests and a set of rules derived from the way that the UK postcode is structured based on the British Standards 7666 are incorporated into the UK postcode validator to help you understand the structure of your postcodes and the quality of them before you carry out any geocoding exercise. So now once you've tested, licensed and prepared your workflow, you can go and add a reader that contains some data that you actually want to process. For example, you may have a series of postcodes available in Excel that you want to validate. Here I have a spreadsheet called postcodes. We're going to read that in, access the sheet that contains the postcodes and connect that to my workflow. You'll see that we have an attribute with a different name so we need to swap the input attribute that gets validated. Now if we run this through the process you can see that five of the postcodes are valid and nine are not valid. If you wanted to, you could then work out what the problems are with those particular postcodes, fix the issues, and then route them back into your workflow. Writing all the data out rather than to a logger, but perhaps to an output format that might be a geospatial format like Esri shapefile, or just straight back into another Excel spreadsheet. Now that you know how to use this transformer, one thing to be aware of is that very occasionally getting access to the FME store in security controlled environments 
that might be behind a firewall can sometimes be a problem. If that issue affects you, you might need to go into your settings, which are tools, FME options, and make your way to the network settings. Your IT department might be able to give you access to some proxy settings that allow you to get access to the FME store by negotiating around your firewall. If that's not possible, what you can also do is get access to the FME store directly via the web. Here you can see the FME store is available. We can browse the catalogue, take a look at the custom transformers, find the one that you're interested in, just click it, and then you can download the transformer directly from here. Sends a request and downloads a file. This file is the UK postcode validator that you can install in Workbench. Thank you for listening to this session. It's discussed the FME Store from Safe Software and the UK postcode validator from OneSpatial. I hope you found this session interesting.